Hey, what's up guys? It's Sunday and I got out of work early and uh, I stopped by at Target and I picked up some stuff. So we're going to have a little Sunday quick rip here. I don't know how quick it's going to be because there is a lot of packs in that Donruss mega box over there. Uh, we got 2019 Top Stadium Club, 2019 Donruss Baseball, and 2019 Allen and Ginter. Um, it is what it is. I want to talk about that movie Jack of All Trades today. Uh, it's on Netflix. It's about baseball card collecting, kind of. Um, about a guy who inherits a collection that's up in his mom's house and uh, he starts to go through it and it's a whole bunch of like 88 through 91, 92 um, baseball cards, unopened boxes, sets. He thinks he's sitting on a fortune, takes it to a baseball card convention and if you've been to one lately besides the National, you know that those things have slid downhill since the... Uh, early to late 90s um, where there used to be hundreds of vendors there's usually just maybe 20 now and he walks in and he realizes that his cards really aren't worth anything anymore and he's confused by that so he deep dives into it and decides to find out what really happened and he goes into depth about Upper Deck and the 89 Griffey and um it's kind of interesting. I could have done without the family drama in the movie, but if what he finds out is true, that 89 Upper Deck Griffey was mass-produced individually well past the 89 season by Upper Deck, it makes sense why they might have lost their licensing for all the major sports except for hockey. Um, it's also a little bit disconcerting because... Um, that's an iconic card, and it just makes you go to wonder, I love that Dale Murphy card, it just makes you go to wonder, how, how many Griffey Juniors are really out there? Is it millions? You got a red Trey Mancini. Um, Honus Wagner. It could be millions, and they did mass produce it, and he does get a hold of some upper deck people. What I'd really like to see now is a movie based on what exactly happened between 1986 and like 1992 uh, with the baseball card industry, why they got so greedy, what they were thinking when they essentially ruined the hobby at that point. Um, it also goes into like uh, uh, calling Beckett pretty much a scam. Hey, there's a nice card. I think that's the, uh, is that the short print? I'm not sure. That might be a short print. And Daryl Strawberry, that's a good card too. I like that card. And Reese Hoskins. Um, why they were so greedy and what, what exactly happened there to where the card industry was literally brought down to its knees. Um, I, I, I do get that stuff was overproduced. Um, and that could either be the fault of greed or the fault of a company not really knowing what they were doing but for a company like Topps that's been around since forever it's a nice Jeter um, we really kind of got screwed nice Jacob deGrom too and a was that an orange Hideki Mitsui and Eddie Murray um, getting back on topic here why why did they let that happen? If somebody could make a great documentary, I wanted to talk to CEOs, I wanted to talk to uh, Beckett uh, management, I want them to go all the way in and, and really deep dive that, that story and tell me what exactly happened. And why the cards were so goddamn ugly. Like 91, 92 Donruss, 91, 90 Fleer, yikes. Uh, it's cards that are just horrible um, to look at. Thanks, nice Johnny Bench. Power Zone, Mark McGuire. Will Myers. But, I mean, in all reality, I think it was 86 Tops was what, when I started collecting. And I was a, uh, you know, I was a kid back then, and I traded all my 
good cards, the Roger Clemens and the Nolan Ryans and everything for any kind of Mets I could get my hands on. I mean, I, I was literally, what? I was born in 78, so in 86 I was 8 years old. And all my neighbors that were older teenagers used to come over and take advantage of the fact that I didn't really know value uh, based on Beckett. Here we go, we got a red Chris Sale. And uh, Tuki Toussaint. And um, I would trade anything. 87 was a disaster. Uh, I, I was trading McGuire, you know, 85 was his rookie card, but 87 also was kind of considered his rookie card at the time. And uh, I was trading away McGuire's and all that, Will Clark's for Kevin Mitchell's and Sid Fernandez's and whatever I could get my hands on, Alex Bregman. You got a black stand usual. I like that card. Got a Yelly. And a Fran Mill. Um, I'm sure some of you guys did the same thing. I mean, when we first got into collecting when we were children, it was uh, it's all about your favorite team. And yeah, I, I remember one Christmas I got, what was it, the, was it the 86 Tops football set from the Sears Wishlist catalog. That was my one of my Christmas presents. And I tore into that set like nobody's business. I wish I had kept that sealed now. I pulled out every card I could think of that was, was hot at the time. I was probably, probably traded away the uh, Jerry Rice rookie for um, probably like a Danny White quarter, like, <laughs> or Randy White, or who else was hot back then in 86? Tony Dorsett, any, any Cowboys. Aguilar, Kane. Nice Kyle Wright rookie. He's struggling a little bit. Ender and Carte. Huh. Ender and Carte red. And a Babe Ruth. So that does it for the Stadium Club. What cards... When did you guys start collecting? What cards were you collecting first? And you had boxes and shoe boxes full of... I mean, they were only 50 cents a pack. My grandparents would always come over and they'd bring me packs of cards. And my parents, when I got good grades. I remember when I got grounded when I was young, the biggest punishment they could hand down to me was you stay in your room and you sort your baseball cards and we'll let you know when you're done. And I, even at that time, probably had thousands of baseball cards. They would buy the boxes, the 800 count boxes and stuff for me. And God, I hated doing that. That's a nice Tom Seaver. New at the zoo. It's a penguin chick. Nice. Uh, wow, we got a hit. So I bought three blasters of Topps, Allen, and Ginter, and I've gotten three hits. So, okay. I'll talk about that in a minute. It's a nice one, too. It's Matt Carpenter. Um, I bought a hobby box and got three of these cards of uh, the game used materials um, and three blaster boxes have given me three game used materials so okay uh, you did hear my apology in my last video about you know I, I did pull that no number tech piece that I found later which I probably won't come out of a blaster box um, but yeah Paul Molitor Mini Sorry guys, I'm uh, trying to look over my phone as I bring these out. So, I'm going to bray you. Remember, what was it 90 tops or was it 89? I think it was 89 with the Greg Jeffries. I was all about Greg Jeffries. Greg Jeffries was the shit. And then, where's Greg Jeffries now? Mares and Stallions. Weimaraner, James and Castro. Kevin Elster, Dave Magadan. I remember going after those cards. <laughs> Yasiel Puig, Lester Posada, Chris Bryant stars, and a black parallel of Carlos Correa. Not bad, regular back. And a Mariano Rivera. 
So uh, the short prints on these cards, I believe, are what, 400 through 450, or is it 300 through 350? Um, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be 300 through 350. So cards like that, Wade Davis, maybe? I'm not sure, I'll have to take another look at that. I have watched guys lately on uh, YouTube that have opened up cases of like 86 racks and there's a nice Manny Machado, Allen and Genter back. It is numbered to 149, or number is 149, not number two. That's Frank Thomas there and a Corey Seager. And uh, watching them open those rack boxes, those old rack boxes, like the, you get through one rack box, you're like, oh yeah, shit, I remember that. It was good times back then. And by the time they get to the third rack box, you're like, try not to fall asleep. Bieber, an airplane, and a Noah Syndergaard. Does take you down memory lane though. That's always nice. Ricky Henderson. The Cincinnati Red Stockings. Regular. Pat Smith, another airplane, and Whit Merrifield. Our last pack of Ginter here. Can't believe I pulled another another hit out of out of a Ginter blaster. Unbelievable. Donaldson. The first tiger mask. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm a wrestling fan of somewhat. Let's say, can we get it to focus here. Nope. Okay. So that's the first Tiger Mask. Eloy Jimenez rookie. Not bad. Yeah, I'll just leave that one up. Carton. I'm not sure who this guy is. Augie Carton, brewer and podcast host. So, Mr. Augie Carton. A Tony Gwen and a Michael Conforto. All right, our last box is a 2019 Donruss Baseball Mega Box with one pink firework parallel in the box. And there's also all sorts of other stuff. Mega Box exclusive, uh, 16 hollow pink and pink firework parallels. So, bunch of stuff in this box. I did open up a hobby box of this. There's a video down my stream or down my channel if you take a look. Um, it was pretty fun to open. Uh, I liked it. I think the price can come down a little bit, maybe $60, $50, $60 a box, but um, a lot of packs. going to be a lot of base in here. Let me clean some of this up right quick. Put those over there. These right there and there. All right. Let's see what we got. Pink Firework Parallels. I haven't really opened any um, any retail on this, so. We'll see. Let's see. All right, Sean Newcomb, Francisco Lindor, Miguel Cabrera. And there is our pink, probably, uh, Firework Parallel. And Jacob deGrom. Franchise Features. And Duplantier on the back, so that's a dual card. Kyle Schwaba. Uh, that's a prism of some sort. I don't know. I don't know if all the pinks are prisms. Whoa. Okay. So this is a firework parallel. You can see it's like all over. Max Scherzer. And Derek Rodriguez, Harrison Bader. about doing some NASCAR stuff. It's pretty cheap online right now. Like, guaranteed hits, too. Um, I am a NASCAR fan. I've kind of fallen off lately. 
but I still know what's going on. There's a nice Aaron Judge base card. Then we got Dennis Santana, a Jonathan Lasigia. Uh, I don't know what they're called. Blue Stars, I call them. Uh, George Springer. Aaron Judge Fireworks. I don't know, that's a cool one. Action All Stars. Give that one a little sleeve. Alright, Trey Mancini and Trevor Story. John Mancata. Alright, Cody Bellinger. Danny Jansen rated rookie. Camargo. Archer. And a Correa with a Royce Lewis on the back. Marquecas and a Diamond King of Jan Mancata. Boy, the way I have this camera set right now, it makes it real tough to see the cards. Justice Sheffield. Pollock. Anduhar. Abreu. Wade Davis. A Javi Baez Elite Series Pink Firework Parallel. Perez and Reese. Alright, Springer. So Reese Hoskins obviously has a parallel in the set, or a image variation. Chris Archer. Boy, getting a lot of a lot of dupes. Shane Langelier. Collegiate card. Another Camargo. What's going on here? And Javi Baez. Fran Mill, Fletcher, every which way, Nimmo, Mustache, Aaron Judge, um, John Doxaxis, Doxax, Doxax, I don't know, maybe you guys can help me out there, Barros, and a Jose Ramirez. All these cards are kind of dinged up on the left-hand corner. I'm a big fan of that. Guess that's what I get for buying the last box. It's probably been kicked around, kicked down the store. All right. Oh, my back's killing me. We got Kershaw, Loriano. Loriano got hit by a pitch on purpose last night. For slow strolling around the bases, Schwaba. A lot of these American prides. I think out of the hobby box, I got like one. Dominic Fletcher. Kramer. And a Yellowge Diamond King. Scherzer, Belt, Garrett Hampson, Eugenio Suarez, a Dennis Santana, Pink Parallel, an Ozuna with an Eloy on the back, Jake Nix, and Bryce Harper.
Simmons, Smoke, Brantley, Kyle Wright, JD Martinez, Dominators, Mike Trout, Pink Firework Parallel, that's cool, Ozzy Albies, and Matt Chapman. Couple more packs, and then I'll be off until Wednesday when I will come back, or maybe even Tuesday if I can find it, with a major amount of Topps Chrome. At least a jumbo box. The jumbo box is definitely going down. Five autos, yes sir. Two fifty, I'll pay it. Meadows Peralta, because it's like two fifty for a box of Immaculate, and the stuff I've seen be getting pulled out of there is pretty much doo doo. Danny Jansen. Yelich. I mean, I have seen some nice stuff, but I've seen Zilla. There's a nice name variation. I've uh, seen some real stinkers of boxes of uh, Immaculate. Like, if I spent $250 to $300 on a box, it's got four swatches and a, four mem cards and a... Uh, please don't let that be the auto. <laughs> Cano, Malik, Duggar. Shohei Pink, Bellinger, Aaron Judge with Alex Kriloff of the Twins on the back, and two throwbacks, a Messenger and a Rowdy Tellez. Rowdy everywhere Tellez. Three packs left, still looking for the auto. No way. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> How awesome is that, guys? Big Poppy. Wow. Auto is all on the sticker. Card is in great condition. Wow. Out of everybody I could have pulled, I got Poppy. I know... I got a buddy that I, uh, I game with online. Is he goes by the name Terminator, and he is a his online persona in our chat rooms is uh, Bo Sox for life. And man, he's gonna he's gonna like that card. Maybe I could trade him. He's got some stuff I want, so we'll take a look at, at what he's got. Glaber, wow. <laughs> Corbin and Matt Chapman. What? <laughs> it's the uh, it's not just the pink it's the pink fireworks so that is a that is a sweet sweet auto right there I am all right my Sunday's made I'm ready to go do some laundry do the dishes clean clean the house get everything done now I'm uh my day is set Marcakis Nick Williams Spencer Torkelson that's a good one Luis Ortiz and Anthony Rizzo And our last pack here, Hunter Renfro, Kopech, Matt Olson, Jacob DeGrom, Yachty, a uh, Freddie Freeman Dominators, Willie Calhoun, and Castellanos Diamond Kings. So that does it, guys. Uh, I am literally not buying any more cards, so I can save my money until um, Chrome comes out. Our huge freaking hit is uh, David Ortiz out of a retail mega box of 2019 Donner's Baseball Pink Firework Parallel. It's unnumbered but geez, that's a cool one, man. Uh, I love pulling um, veterans and retired players and I don't have any Ortiz autographs. As a matter of fact, I just watched a video of, of a whole bunch of uh, Major League Baseball fights and Ortiz was in quite a few and he, he would just he would just run over guys when it came to like charging guys. It was awesome. So uh, he's finally out of the hospital too, from what I read on ESPN. He was in the hospital since like mid June, which is crazy. It's you know it sucks what happened to him. Um, hopefully he makes full recovery. We see him on TV soon. 
David Ortiz, I have no idea how that spells Ortiz, uh, <laughs> but that is what it is. So awesome. Then we got a Pink Trout Dominators, Aaron Judge Pink, Aaron Judge Pink Firework uh, Action Shots, an Eloy Jimenez Rookie Card, uh, Matt Carpenter Game Used Relic from Ginter, a Kyle Wright Rookie Card, a Jeter, and a Vladdy um, Rookie from Stadium Club. That's it, guys. Go watch that movie I was talking about. It's called Jack of All Trades. It's on Netflix. I would like to know what you guys think. I mean, the father-son drama is a little thick. I could have done without it. I don't know. Maybe you guys like that stuff. But uh, I will see you all Wednesday with some Topps Chrome. And hopefully we can continue this hot streak that I seem to be on. And I will talk to you later. Have a good one.